Hey guys, this is Stephanie and I'm Stacks on Stacks on Stacks. Today I'm talking to you guys about my trip to New York City, which was so much fun. It was the third week in July, so that was like probably two weeks by the time this gets posted. And it was a fantastic trip. Basically, it was just a sister trip for my sister and I, Lisa. We are besties and we like to do fun things together. And for her 40th birthday, she was like, I wanna go to New York City with you. And I said, okay. So we started planning this back in January. We planned all this fun stuff to do and we are planners to the core, both of us. So we had a really great time doing really fun things. I did vlog a bit and I have like the souvenirs and stuff that I purchased here and I can show you guys. And I will share my pictures with you guys too. And my sister's pictures. She took more pictures than I did. You probably noticed I'm sitting today. Well, I don't know if you can see the chair. It's here. <laughs> but I'm sitting because I kind of hurt my ankle while I was in New York City and it was a very light sprain. It's just, I just kept walking on it. And even though it hurt, I just slapped a brace on it and just kept walking because I didn't want to miss out on anything. I mean, I don't know when I'm going to New York City next. So, you know, there's so much to do. So by the time I got back, it was pretty swollen and it was quite a bit bigger than my other ankle. And I just happened to have an appointment with my chiropractor and she took a look at it and she's like, it's not broken. It's a pretty bad sprain though. However, she did some cupping on it and the swelling went down almost immediately. And it's been a lot better, but today it hurts. So I'm sitting today, though it is a lot, lot better. Like I said, it just it gets achy sometimes. Maybe it's because it's been raining, I don't know. But today I'm sitting. So you'll get a different view of my bookshelves. This is probably the one you normally see. <laughs> so now you can see these two. And there's even one on the ground. So I have a lot of books. So New York City was a lot of fun. New York City is loud, like loud. Like everything's loud all the time. Outside, it's loud. Inside, it's loud. Everything is loud. We got an Airbnb near Columbus Circle, which is right near the entrance to, or one of the entrances to Central Park. And it was a pretty busy area, but it was loud. <laughs> Lucky for us, the entrance to the subway was right at the corner of our block. So we literally came down the apartment and we could just go to the corner and that was the entrance for our subway. It was great. And there was actually like a little shop area when you went down the stairs in the subway and they had all these little stores and it was so cute. It was like they tried to clean it up, but the subway system in general is not air conditioned. So it was hot down there and it's dirty. Like the city's kind of dirty, but the subway system's dirty. The subway cars are clean but the subway system is dirty. And then our last two days there, it rained, so all the homeless people that were hanging out on the street, getting a tan, go down in the subway. So then it became dirty and there are people laying around. So we don't have a subway system where I live and we don't have so many homeless laying around either. We have some, but not that many. It was, it was a lot. But aside from being loud and dirty, it was a really, really fun city. We didn't actually leave the island of Manhattan except for when we went to the Statue of Liberty. We just kind of stayed put on the island. We didn't get to go to Brooklyn or the Bronx or anything like that because we kind of wanted to be good with our time. And I did start my trip with a little bit of footage, so here's that. Hey guys, I was gonna start my video in Nebraska, but it was like three in the morning and I probably looked about as good then as I do now, but we are in Detroit. My sister Lisa, we'll be seeing a lot of Lisa. Um, I got this started on the plane. I'm only like three chapters in. I didn't have a chance to read a whole lot of it, but I am actually hoping to read it on the plane to New York from Detroit. Um, I'm a little tired, so I'm afraid I'm gonna fall asleep, but we'll see how much reading I got done. There was a screaming child behind me on this flight, so I actually was pretty awake. But I'm gonna eat some fat bombs and snack a little bit, so. I will probably catch up with you guys when we get to New York. Bye. After we settled into our apartment a little bit, we went down to the corner and they actually had like a little place to get pizza locally and gelato. And it was super yummy. Hey guys, we finally made it to the apartment that we are staying at an Airbnb and I'm gonna give you guys a bit of a tour and I'm just gonna flip the phone around because I can't quite figure out how to do that on my phone. I'm not good at phones. Okay, so this is the door and this building is like a hundred years old. Um, so when you walk in, this is what you see. We already have our crap everywhere. So there's a nice chair. Sorry, 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 sorry. There we go. There's the chair the bed there's even like a TV here oh, there you go 
TV, and a, a weird skull right here. I'm going to name him Henry, I think, and him, too. Uh, the window view is kind of whatever. Um, I don't know if you can see it very well. It's just the backyard of something kind of odd, but it is what it is. And then there's a kitchenette, like little table and kitchen and fridge and things. And then this window actually, I, again, I'm not sure how you guys are going to see this, but it goes like all the way up. We're on the third floor, so you can kind of tell that we're on the third floor. And then there's a nice huge mirror here, which will be handy when we are both getting ready in the mornings. There's this thing here, I think is so my sister will knock her head regularly yep. in the hallway. I'm a little short, so I'm okay. And then this is our bathroom. Pretty nice. Simple little bathroom. So this is where we are staying while we're in New York. It's exciting. It's really close to Columbus Circle. Um, so we're probably going to go get some food from a food truck is what we're going to do. And hit Whole Foods so I can have some bulletproof coffee for breakfast or something like that. And then we're gonna go to Mean Girls tonight, so yay! And then we just decided we were gonna walk around some of the downtown area before seeing Mean Girls that evening. So we went down to the Rockefeller Center, we kinda walked around the outside, and we went inside as well. So I got some souvenirs there right off the bat because they had Friends merchandise, and that is one of my all time favorite, favorite, favorite TV shows. So I got a Friends hat, but I really like this hat. It's purple, it has the picture frame on Monica's door on it, and I love it. And it's adjustable. I have a small head, and I actually tried on, they had a couple other hats for other TV shows, and most of them weren't adjustable, which is silly to me. Or I shouldn't say they weren't adjustable, they did not adjust down small enough. I also got a friend's t-shirt, one for my husband and one for myself, and they're pretty similar. His is a softer gray, actually. I kind of wish I would have gotten this one. And it has all these friend's quotes on it, and I love it so, so, so much. And then mine, it's I guess mine is soft as well. It just has the friend's quotes in color, and they're actually not the same quotes. They're different quotes. I think I've seen these shirts online before, but I love these. I love the friend's quotes. I love the TV show and they're a little bit wrinkly because I've already washed them and dried them and they sat in my laundry basket for a few days because I didn't feel like doing laundry. And I don't usually wear things unless I've tried them on. I also got a Christmas ornament. Now I'm huge into Christmas ornaments, like the thing that I get when I go on trips. I like to get a Christmas ornament to commemorate the occasion when we take trips like anywhere. So our, our Christmas tree generally is filled with trips that we took together. I think there might be one ornament from a trip that he took by himself, maybe, but I buy them when I'm by myself because, well, I like Christmas ornaments. This is, uh, it says NYC on one side, the other side. It says Saturday Night Live. Well, it doesn't say Saturday Night Live. It says SNL. But still, I, I do like SNL. I don't watch it a ton anymore. I used to watch it more, but it does make me giggle, and now I have an ornament. And we also went to the Nintendo store. I actually think we might have gone to that one first. I don't remember now. But the Nintendo store was really fun. Now, my husband's a huge nerd, so I got him a red Nintendo baseball cap that says Nintendo New York on it, and he does wear hats, so he likes that. And then I got him a mug as well that was like a square mug that had the question mark from Super Mario Brothers on it. That was really fun too, and I took some fun pictures because they have all sorts of fun things there. I mean, if you grew up in the 80s or even the 90s and you were at all into video games and Nintendo, you're totally gonna get most of the references. It was a really cool store. NBC store was cool as well, and basically they had stuff from certain sitcoms like The Office and Parks and Rec. I think Seinfeld was in there. Golden Girls, I don't remember all the ones. And then they had like stuff from Jimmy Fallon and Seth Meyers, I think. Uh, but they had all these other ones too, that SNL stuff. And I understood I only had so much room in my suitcase, so I was pretty picky about the stuff I brought home, but the store was really, really cool. There's a lot of cool stuff in it. Then we walked down to Tiffany's as you will see and we uh, went in there and had our picture taken the funny thing is there was a guard there and he was looking at us like you're taking this picture and like we literally walked in the store and we're like oh everything here is expensive and pretty oh how nice the things and then oh the picture smile and then we like left and he was looking at us like are you kidding me and I just wanted to say we're from the sticks y'all or something like that but I didn't I just smiled and said thanks have a nice day and, and then we went to Mean Girls it was amazing, it was fun. Oh, it's kind of glaring. It was so much fun. I loved this one. It might have been my favorite musical, which is saying something because we went to Hamilton too. But Hamilton was pretty hyped, it was good. 
But this, I knew next to nothing about. I mean, I figured it's going to be like the movie. And it was like the movie. And I loved that because I loved the movie. The dancing in this was absolutely incredible and fun and so precise. Like they had those chairs and desks from like elementary school where the desk and the chair are attached to each other. And you can like squeeze yourself in there. But they were on wheels and they weren't just like wheel wheels. They were the four-way wheels so they can go any direction. And people were like doing handstands on those while somebody else was pushing it across the stage while other people are jumping around and dancing. And it was beautiful and amazing. And I appreciate good choreography so much. And it was so good and so precise and so brilliant. And then they brought the whole social media aspect into Mean Girls as well. So there was a lot of like, you know, tweeting and Snapchats and all that kind of stuff wrapped up in the Mean Girls world and it just made it that much more real and horrible and wonderful and I was just like, yes, and may I have more. All the performers were amazing as well and we did have an understudy. I think we didn't understudy at every show we went to actually, but it was the dad, so it wasn't a huge, huge deal. It was amazing fun and we went on a Wednesday, so we wore pink. As did probably like 75% of the audience. I was like giving the stink eye to the other 25% because how dare you not wear pink? Be serious. And I did get some souvenirs from this. I got a hoodie that says Mean Girls on it. Kind of. You can read that. There you go. It says Mean Girls on it. And then on the front it says, <laughs> you can't read it very well. She doesn't even go here, which is one of my favorite quotes. And who am I kidding? They're all my favorite quotes. I love the movie. I also got a water bottle that says Mean Girls on one side and Don't Be Thirsty on the other, which is funny because it's a water bottle, right? So it was amazing and fun and I want to go see it again, though I probably won't until it comes to Lincoln or Omaha. Uh, then we got a late dinner after that. We went to La Miseria, which was like a really highly rated Italian restaurant that was like a half a block off of Broadway and it was super expensive and it was good but it wasn't like to me it was not like a $60 good plate it was just good. We used the Zagat app Z-A-G-A-T and it was fantastic at telling us what restaurants were near us, which ones had good ratings, price points, what they were like Italian or Mexican or American cuisine or whatever it was. It was a really handy app. If you're going to a large city, get the Zagat app. It doesn't cost anything and it'll totally tell you the good places to eat, but I don't think they have it for every town. So, you know, use it when you can. But Zagat said it was pretty highly rated. I wouldn't rate it all that high for the expense. Like it was fine, but it wasn't something I couldn't get here in town. And then after that, we went to the M&M store, which was really fun. I have tons of footage of that. I will share that. <laughs> taking all that footage I kind of felt like I should probably get something so I did find these cards that are really cute and it's like M&Ms through the years it's like all their different looks and everything that they had and I thought that was really cool as well I don't particularly collect cards and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them because we play cards sometimes but not all the time uh, but I do like them then we walked back to our apartment very tired and we went to bed